ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Santa's Workshop. Today's video has been a long time coming, almost two years exactly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you little clips from the front to the finish of the 77 barn vet. Under the hood, we have the steel cranked four bolt main 350. It is a number matching block for this car. All the glass is good, even though it's dirty. This door in here needs to be readjusted. But I want you to look at this interior. No cracks in the dash. Good, clean seats. Even the bolsters on the seats are not worn. I've got new carpet ordered for it because it looks like he got some water in there and sat. Carpet on the doors are faded. So it is getting all new carpet. All right, I got a battery in. Swapped it out of my son-in-law's pickup, but he's out driving, so he's not gonna need it for a little while. Till I can get one from Austin Car. And let's see, now I've cranked this thing several times, so I'm not gonna pump the gas because I'm pretty sure I've got the gas up to it. Let's see what it does. Are you ready? Holy mackerel. That thing just fired right up. Listen to this. Holy cow. I cannot believe this. got the radiator drained got the thermostat housing which was leaking like a sieve undone so I'm gonna clean all that up I'm gonna pull this here out since we're not going back with emissions and that's where I'm going to put the uh, the uh, the, pre the temperature sensor for the fans I'm gonna put those right there and I want to tell you something that bottom radiator hose, you can see it going right there between the fan shroud down to the radiator. That is going to be a booger. So I think I'm going to buy a brand new one to put on there because I have no idea how old this one is. And I sure don't want that thing to blow. I'm going to do new heater hoses, old red hoses. They're kind of stiff down below and they're, they're leaking a little. So get new ones of those. Might as well go ahead and do a new water pump while I'm here. Oh, the list never ends. I have found out that this thing has, you know, I knew it had been wrecked. I knew they'd done some repair on it. But I didn't know what kind of shoddy repair they had done. They repaired this without taking the front nose cone off. I'm sure you can see that mess. And I was going to try and clean that up and repaint this front end, which I'm still going to repaint the front end, and I'm going to try and clean this up. But they fiberglassed over the nuts to take the front end off. People, if you're going to take the time to fix a car, 
please do it right. I mean, the rest of this car is beautiful. And, and this fender right here, the way this lines up, you can see that is not right. It's sticking way up. It needs to be further back in. They knew when they did this that was wrong. But now it is glued on there. <laughs> and unless you want to cut it off and go through the whole thing of putting another fender on, it's like that. Now, does that decrease from the value of the car? Yes, it does. Is it going to make it a less of a car? No, it won't. This is going to be a nice nice ride when it is done but it makes it more work for me so we're going to get this thing cleaned up we're going to get it mechanically sound we're going to get it looking beautiful paint job is going to come out real nice once i get a buffing wheel i can buff this thing out but i'm not going to touch the paint until i get all the mechanical done so let's get to it alrighty then first thing I want to do is give a shout out to my buddy Austin Carr everybody check out his link I want to have it down below in the description he has brought me a new interstate battery for this thing and he is one heck of a guy you need to go check out his channel he's got a few fun things going on and I hope to get to work with him a lot more this summer now that Christmas time is over. But first thing, 2019 was the last time this thing was tagged. But I got to noticing it still has the spare tire. I don't know if that's the original. We're going to get it pulled down and take a look and see if that is the original spare or not. But it has been in there a while. It has actually cracked itself. Speaking of cracking, here are the new tires I got on the rims. The date codes of the other tires was 2000. Those tires were 22 years old. So this car has been sitting for a little while. Now then, you can see that right there is put together completely wrong. That needs to be on the top side. But those right there are wore out. But you get under here and look, those shocks are fairly new. I don't see, know if you can see it. Let's see if I can see it on this other side. But the trailing arms are new. The emergency brake cables and stuff are new. I mean, I really haven't seen anything under here that looks really horrible. I mean, no signs of bottoming out. I mean, we got one tailpipe here that's scratched up. That one's scratched up, but that's gonna be your lowest part of the car. Now I got the rear end has got some oil leaking, but if you look, that front yoke is just as clean as can be. You get it to the yoke over here. It looks clean. And this one here, that one's clean. So the only thing I can figure is all that leaking is coming from the uh, rear rear cover. Top side and rear cover, huh? But the brakes themselves, the calipers, this right here is the best one. I mean, the, the rotors are just, I mean, there's no groove, no lip on them. Brake pads look really good. So shocks don't look like they've been put on for very long. Good exhaust mufflers. I didn't see no holes in them anywhere. But these bushings here, <laughs> those have got to get replaced. So I'm going to get a new set of those. 
You get on up here to the framework, frame itself, don't look too bad. Try and keep that light out of your eyes. You look all across under here. I mean, we got a little bit of scrapage right here, but I mean, for the main cross part, I don't see anything. Our transmission's leaking. Looks like the front main seal may, be, may need to be replaced. Me and Brian, we discussed it. We talked about pulling the motor and tranny since we have the lift and we can get under here and unhook everything. Then go to the top side and pull it out. Um, we can just go ahead and regasket everything, new seals. Got a little bit of a leak on the power steering. But I want you to look on this disc. It has got just a coating of old, um, old brake fluid. So all my parts are supposed to be in in about three days. So as soon as they get all get in, I get everything here. I'm gonna start ripping apart this thing and we're going to fix the calipers. We're going to do what we can for it. Now you get up here under the front end, sway bar bushings, you know, they could be need to be replaced. But I want you to look at this. Those right there usually have some sort of bingo, some notch taken out of them. I see nothing. This right here is dented in just a little bit, like it's been bounced, but nothing on the front edge. I mean, engine, pa well, engine oil pan is pristine. Transmission oil pan, no dents, no scratches. New shocks on the front. Look at that caliper. That thing has been leaking for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna, I wanna take these things all apart, wash them up, clean them, paint them, make them look much, much better. Clean up all the disc. Might take it in and just get the very light turn on them just to kinda get that glaze off of them. Oh, body work up inside the fender. I really see no, nothing having been done up in here. Now, I know this thing has had body work done on it. And you see the little gap up there between the fender and the door. I'm thinking that door may need to be adjusted upward some. But after I get all the mechanical done on it, then I will start working on the, uh, the body side of it. That fender looks, up in there looks good. Let's go over here and look at this other side. This is the one that I know has been replaced. I mean, it doesn't look too terribly bad. Now then, you get right here to this fender where that crack is, you can see right here how thick that is, how thin that is. So this has been pieced on at one time or another. I want to wash and get rid of all the dirt dauber and I'm going to go back in here and build it up, clamp that down to where it's flat and uh, do, a, do a good uh, bracing repair on the back side of it but I mean for underneath it doesn't look too terribly horrible I mean front steering is good and tight I just we got this leak I'll have to get everything cleaned up so I can see where it's coming from but I mean it's it's really not horrible this car has been sitting for quite some time I mean 22 year old tires we got a new radiator coming from alloy works thank you to them and I'll be doing a just a another video alone about getting the radiator radiator out and putting the new one in 
air conditioning condenser looks fairly good but I'm gonna to have to get mounting brackets and a compressor which I think I can use the compressor off of the uh, off of the Caviero and if I can I will but I mean overall we're I'm very impressed by it front end piece I want to get me some paint. I'm going to take this off and I'm going to kind of clean it up and paint it. It's got a bingo right there. But that's the only paint work that I'm planning on doing on it so far besides, you know, addressing where they uh, oversprayed everything underneath. So, all righty. Here we are in the back quarter. I am not, I mean, body mount. Need to get some body mounts for it. Boy, how did that thing bust it out? But it's just dirt. I mean, the fiberglass is good.
All right, everybody. Take a look down in here. Boy, those sure made a difference. Again, thank you, Chris. That thing is just calling for a motor, isn't it, Austin? It really is. And once again, in true YouTuber style, I forgot to hit record. <laughs> but there is a motor in the Corvette. Brian, where are you going? You're, 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 he's sneaking out of the way. <laughs> we had Randy from AAR. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, you so man. much. At least I can do. What, 30 minutes to drop this yeah, thing in? Yeah, 30 minutes for all the hours you put in on the Chevelle. Put, put the transmission on, dropped it in the car, got the motor mounts bolted. Oh, my gosh. Later in this video, you will hear it run for the first time since I got it. And hopefully move. So, gentlemen, thank y'all. You're welcome. It's time to get busy. All right, everybody. Look who we got in the shop. Say hi, Austin. Hi, Austin. <laughs> How'd I know you was going to do that? Well, I mean, you, know, <laughs> you left it wide open. Yes, 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 I did. Well, Austin is here. Brian is on his way. And we are going to see what we can do about getting a Corvette running today. Still got a little bit to do. Austin's helping me get the spare tire back up in there. Yes, this car does have a brand new spare tire. No, it is not a $170 Cooper Cobra, but it is a brand new spare tire. It'll get you where you need to go. I've got Flowmaster mufflers with some dual extensions put on it. All leveled up looking beautiful. Got a new AC condenser. Got the new Alloy Works radiator. We are going to be doing a separate video installing that it should be coming out before this one so y'all watch it and see the how good that radiator is but as soon as we get that spare tire in we're going to be working on that so guys it's coming together hopefully we'll hear some some sound heartbeat out of this chevy all righty brian to the rescue and randy i actually made him get his hands dirty Okay, Brian, fire that thing up so we can hear it. Much, much better than what it first sounded like. 
<laughs> well, I'll tell you what, there you have it. It runs. It runs. There's going to be a lot of nitpicking stuff to, you know, take care of. The uh, vacuum hoses, the fans on the, the radiator, wiring, routing some other things. But hey, by golly, you got her done, bud. Randy, thank you so much. Hey, but that was one of the hardest bolts to get to, and you know it. Okay, as I said before, I am doing full disclosure on this car. And I want you to look. No holes. And the rust inside the birdcage is none. Both sides look wonderful. here on this one if you can see up in there I mean this whole car the frame of it is in good shape there's that spot underneath that I showed you they put welded a little plate on instead of trying to beat it out like they should have but I can't go back and redo what they've done but yeah um, the floorboards in this thing look really good. I got it in there. Whew, you want to talk about something that has fought me every step of the way. I want you to look at this. That fits. Fits nice. I re the trim around the uh, console. The uh, shifter boot. That is the original leather shifter boot. I took it out just saturated it with uh, leather cleaner and conditioner and it's just as supple, supple as can be now. There's the Pioneer head unit. I think that black and silver on it matches the dash much better. I want to touch up the silver around the gauges but it still looks pretty good. But yeah, it's not red like it was. But I tell you what, I kind of like that. That black and red just goes good together.
Here it sits, all pretty and shining. I was getting ready to take it down to the park and do a video, and then it started raining. So, I'm sorry, we're going to have to deal with it in here in the shop. But, you've all pretty much seen it as it is now. New wheels, new tires, or not new wheels, new tires, new trim rings, new center caps, new brakes, uh, brake rotors have been turned, new brake lines, motor has been taken out, regasketed, different transmission put in it. New master cylinder, all new plug wires, plugs, gaskets. Put two different manifolds on it because they were cracked. Four core radiator, aluminum radiator with fans. All new belts. New air conditioning parts, but I don't have the compressor. Because I was wanting to put an original compressor back on it. And I cannot find the brackets anywhere. Even Corvette Ben did not have a full set. But we've got a brand new um, evaporator, or no, brand new condenser, brand new evaporator, brand new dryer. I've got the vintage air uh, custom, make, custom made hoses where you can custom make your own hoses. All you need is a compressor, brand new AC system. Interior, looking good, hand-wrapped, leather steering wheel. I did the uh, console sides out of the same leather. New carpeting, Alpine stereo. Get in the back here, new battery. 1,000 watt uh, Jensen amplifier. Alpine six by nines in the back. You can look here. This is the area where these tend to crack because of stress. There is no cracking. Everything is looking beautiful. Flowmaster exhaust, true duels. Get your look on this other side so you don't see that there's no cracking. that interior now the windows need a little bit of work um, I've got the felts new felts for them but they need the uh, plastic rollers in the tracks and I just ran out of budget to do that we got a gaps right here both this side and the driver side and I had somebody who was very knowledgeable in Corvettes tell me it's the front body mounts. Put new front body mounts on it, raise that front end back up. Those gaps will go back to where they want, are supposed to be. As I said, I just, I, I cannot put any more money into it. Everybody needs a little bit of things to do to their project. As you can see, the window rubber is good. Dash is perfect. Not a crack one in it. Uh, temperature gauge shows to be running hot every time it gets up right next to the hot spot we get out with our uh, laser temperature gauge engine is at the perfect temp 180 I checked the hoses one hose was 180 the other hose was 194 radiators doing its job it's just I think it's the gauge itself. I put a new uh, put a new uh, sending unit in, and it did not change anything. So, new thermostat ga thermostat housing. I've got a reusable thermostat gasket on there. Carburetor needs to be rebuilt. It's got a leaking 
uh, accelerator valve. I've got the kit. I just have not had time to put it in yet. All right. Front end. It's been repainted. I got all the cracks and brakes and everything fixed on it. This right here was split right in half and I repaired it with the rubber bumper repair. Grills are in perfect shape. You got the bottom air scoop. So this car's ready to go. This car's ready to go have fun with somebody. But thank you all for joining me with this project. It was kind of a, a last minute deal I couldn't turn down. It's turned into a two year project. <laughs> but now that it is done, I can get back on the Caballero. I can start doing more on Jim's pickup even though he is trying to sell it. Um, I want to make sure it is, it's right to whoever it goes to. And let's see, we got Brian's tea bucket coming up real soon. El, uh, El Caballero. Oh, and the special project. I forgot about that. Stick with me. Guys, we'll see y'all soon. Thank you for joining me. Please hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Santa's Workshop.